How are you doing guys? Today is a glorious day because finally I have a new video out for you. At last I have finished my project. Well, not exactly finished, but uh, I'm close to that. So basically two months ago I uploaded a video where I told you about my plans that I want to create a fully automated BB gun that would be able to locate a target, aim at it and shoot it with the help of AI object detection. Right now I am at the final stages of this project, but I wanted to make this video to show you what is done so far. At this stage the BB gun can be manually controlled from a computer, but I still have to work on the automatization part. So feast your eyes on the world's coolest BB gun. Maybe it is not the largest, Maybe it is not the strongest, but it's definitely freaking cool. So what you can see here is a BB gun that can be moved using stepper motors. It can shoot the BBs using compressed air and it can be fully controlled by a computer. The BB gun has a camera that is connected to the computer and it can be used to aim at your target. You can control the BB gun using your keyboard in the same way as if you would be playing a video game. You can control its direction using the A, D, W and S keys and if you are holding down the C key at the same time that increases the speed at which the BB gun is moving. If you press the R key that reloads the BB gun and it shoots the BB as soon as F key is pressed. So isn't that cool or what? And the most amazing thing is that it actually works pretty well. Now let me show you everything a bit closer. So here you can see the camera. This is the stepper motor that moves the BB gun up and down. And here you can see the stepper motor that moves it left and right. This is the opening where you have to place your BBs. And this is a DC motor that is used to reload the BBs after shooting. If we go further, here you can see the driver circuit for the stepper motors and the Arduino board. The main purpose of the driver circuit is to simply increase the voltage from 5 volts to 12 volts that is used to control the stepper motors. This is an edge bridge circuit that I had laying around here and that I am using for one of the stepper motors and for the other stepper motor I am using simply NPN type transistors. Using Arduino board and serial communication I am able to control everything from my PC. Now we come to the compressed air supply stage and here you can see it in all of its glory. This is a self-made, electrically controllable compressed air valve. I will talk about it more a bit later, but basically it simply releases the compressed air when you want to shoot the BB. This is the compressed air storage unit, aka a large water bottle, and I think it's self-explanatory, nothing much to add there. And this is a DIY pressure sensor that is used to monitor the pressure in the system. Also about this one I will talk a bit more a bit later. Then we have a not so DIY air compressor that keeps the pressure up. A lead acid battery that powers the air compressor and the compressed air wall. And the second Arduino board that reads the signal from compressed air sensor and controls the air compressor accordingly. The last part of the system is the computer, but I have a feeling that you already know what it's used for. Now let me walk you through some parts of the system that I think are the most interesting and give you a more detailed explanation how they are working and how they are made. Let's start with the BB gun's reloading mechanism. So you are placing the BBs inside this opening and they roll down a slope. 
then using the DC motor and the screw mechanism the BB is lowered from the storage compartment inside the barrel and after that the BB gun is ready to shoot. I won't go into the small details because I don't want to bore you but there was a lot of fine tuning to get this mechanism to work properly. One of the main problems was that it gets stuck all the time. The second part that I will talk about is the electrically controllable compressed air valve. I have to say that I am quite proud of making this part because I nailed it on the first try and it works really well. One might ask why I didn't just buy this part and the answer is I simply didn't want to wait. Also because the pressures that I intended to work with were not very high, the valve didn't have to be too powerful. Because I wanted to make this valve myself, I had to become creative and I had to build this part just from the things that I had laying here around. For example, the coil is from an old cathode ray tube TV. If we will look inside the bottom part of this valve, we will find a metal rod and a plastic rod. When current flows through the coil, the metal rod pushes the plastic rod upwards, as you can see that here. If we will take a look what's in the upper part of this valve, then you will find a rubber o-ring and one of the BBs that I am actually using for the BB gun. I used one of the BBs because it seals really well with the o-ring. When the plastic rod moves upwards, it moves the BB and that releases the pressure. When the valve is turned off, the BB falls back down and that closes the valve. As you can see, the operation of this valve is highly dependent on the gravity and it means that it has to be placed vertically in order to work properly. I like this valve because it's designed so simple, but at the same time it gets the job done. The last part that I want to talk about is the compressed air sensor. Right now there is compressed air inside the bottle. Here you can see two screws that have wires attached to them and those wires are connected to the Arduino board. You can see that there is a small gap between those two screws. These rubber bands are trying to squeeze the two screws together but the compressed air inside the bottle is trying to separate them. Once the pressure in the bottle goes down to a certain value, a contact between the both screws is created. That sends a signal to the Arduino board that turns on the air compressor for a few seconds. Here you can see a small relay circuit that I made and it allows me to turn on the air compressor either using the push button or using a digital signal that in this case comes from the Arduino board. My first attempt of making compressed air sensor that didn't go so well was using this kind of bottle that has a syringe inside of it with some wires attached. The main idea behind this was that once the pressure inside the bottle increases, there is a pressure difference created between inside and outside of the syringe and that makes the rubber piston to move, creating a connection between one of the two contacts. I had to abandon this idea though, because it turned out that after laying around for a few minutes, the rubber piston stuck to the syringe walls more than it should and that made the signal unreliable, but otherwise this idea worked. Now here will be a little compilation of me shooting the targets, just because it's so damn satisfying.
Let me know down in the comment section what do you think about this project. And maybe there is something that you would like me to cover a bit deeper. I think that in the future this will be the type of content that you will see more on this channel. And this will be the direction in which I think I will be moving. Although it takes a lot of time, I enjoy making these kind of projects. And I hope that you enjoy listening to me talking about them. Although they are not as educational as some of my older videos, I believe that they are a lot more entertaining for you to watch and for me to make. So it's a win-win. As I already mentioned in the beginning of this video, this still is not the finished project. If everything goes as planned, then in my next video you will see a fully automated version of this BB gun, where it finds and shoots the targets on its own. If you don't want to miss out on that, make sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, because I appreciate every like and comment that I get. And that helps me a lot to grow this channel. I hope to see you soon. Cheers guys. Bye.